Hey everybody, um, this video is in response to some uh, requests that I got for um, adjusting the fuel pressure on a crossfire. Um, it's really easy to do. Um, the factory fuel pressure regulator is adjustable. Uh, basically what you want to do is <clears throat> there's five T20 Torx screws holding that injector hat on. Um, those need to come off. Your fuel pressure regulator is right here. Once you get this off, the regulator is going to come with it. Um, once you get this off, you can flip it over at the very base of the regulator. In the center of it, there's a, it almost looks like the tip of a regular flathead screwdriver. Um, that's where your adjustment's at. So basically what you want to do is, like I said, remove this, five T20s right there, unplug your injector, pull the five T20s off, this whole thing will come off. Um, underneath here, there's a, it's like a small flat aluminum plug, like a knockout plug. Um, kind of like what was on, a, say a factory quadra jet, you know, 80s quadra jet that blocked off the idle mixture screws, just a tamper proof plug. Um, <clears throat> that could be knocked out with a you know a small screwdriver and a and a small hammer. Um, once you get that plug out, which is right under here, that's how you get to it. Um, you can put all this back together. Um, it's entirely up to you if you want to replace all your your gaskets on your throttle body while you're doing this. It's not a bad idea if it's been a while since it's been done. Um, I did mine right after I got this car as I was going through it, so everything was all new, so I didn't have anything to worry about. Um, but you put it back together, and you're gonna want to measure your fuel pressure with the engine running. Um, how the fuel pressure is measured on a crossfire motor is between the two throttle bodies on this crossover line right here. This is the outlet of the slave throttle body going into the inlet of the master throttle body. What I did was I made a, it looks like garbage, but it works. Um, I made a small um, bent up piece of 3 8 tubing and a cheap $10 fuel pressure gauge, a 15 pound fuel pressure gauge. Um, when you're doing your fuel pressure, you remove this line from here and right here, screw in, you know, replace it with this line. It'll pretty much take the place of it. That way when you're running, you can take, and I had to make this as well. This is a tool for setting up uh, idle mixture screws on a Rochester Quadrajet. Any E4 ME 81 to 90 Rochester Quadrajet feedback um, uses a what's called a double D bit to adjust the idle mixture screws on the base plate. So what I did was I took that double D tool, and if you can see it, I just lightly compressed it and flattened it out uh, with a small hammer, and I was able to get up in here, and it's gonna be hard to do one-handed on camera, but basically, once this is all apart, you'll see the hole for where you stick this. But anyway, it's a pretty sharp bend, but you can get up in there, and while the motor is running, you can adjust your fuel pressure. Uh, I've seen these on crossfires anywhere as low as eight PSI to say 11. Um, with nobody messing with them. Um, I've found they run best at around 13 to 14 PSI. Um, that's another reason I say while you're into your throttle bodies, it might not be a bad idea to replace all the gaskets and the um, fuel pressure regulator diaphragm. The diaphragm and the fuel pressure regulator on these is like paper thin. <clears throat> so any increase in pressure, I mean, if you've got a 20, 25 year old 
regulator diaphragm in there, there's a chance that it may not hold, it may leak, etc. Um, back in the day, I know the uh, one of the things to do for these was to um, put like an 85 and up tune port fuel pump in there. Um, nine out of 10 times, you're still gonna be stuck with say 10 to 11 PSI, 10 to 11 pounds of fuel pressure, um, your volume is just going to be increased because that regulator is still gonna be preset at around 10 to 11 PSI. Um, you can do both, but I've always had luck just cranking the fuel pressure up with the stock um, Crossfire fuel pump. Um, I mean, I've run this thing up to 5,500 RPMs um, you know, like I said, stock cam and stuff like that, but you know, I got one six rockers on it. Um, not necessarily saying it, it's making power at 5,500 RPMs, but it, it didn't lay down. Um, so there was no shortage of the volume of fuel and with a load, um, my fuel pressure doesn't fluctuate any more than about half a pound of fuel pressure. So, like I said, you can, um, if you don't want to do this, you can certainly try running um, an 85 and up um, LB9 or L98 fuel pump out of a tune port car. But like I said, from what I've seen in, in messing with these things over the last 25 years, um, you know, they, uh, or 20 years, whatever, um, you're, you're probably going to be still stuck with a low-ish fuel pressure. Um, I've heard of guys running as much as 20 pounds um, with an aftermarket regulator assembly, uh, but for the factory style fuel pressure regulator and a basically stock motor, even with a mild cam and stuff like that, you can definitely without a doubt get by with 13 to 15 pounds of fuel pressure, which the factory fuel pressure regulator will definitely allow. Um, you know, but it's going to be your call to determine whether, you know, you're having fuel starvation issues, if it's laying down in, in higher RPM and stuff like that. But, um, you know, the request was for pretty much a how-to on how to do the, uh, make the fuel pressure regulator adjustable and how to adjust the fuel pressure. And that's pretty much how it's done. Um, I did this one when I got the car and it didn't even take me a half an hour. Um, I mean, it took me more like 20 minutes. Uh, obviously not counting making the you know the fuel pressure gauge but getting everything apart getting it ready making the tool um, you know it took me about 20 25 minutes and um, you know I can adjust it if I wanted to run permanently with a fuel pressure gauge in that line that crossover line I could do that and I can adjust the fuel pressure in literally five seconds anytime I want to uh, but anyway, hope that uh, answers some questions. If it's a little vague or, you know, you want some more information or um, some clarity, um, feel free to comment. Also, um, you know, if you guys want any other videos or any other ideas for anything like that you want me to show you, um, you know, feel free to let me know. Um, but anyway, hope this helps and uh, that's it.